6. How far away is the Sun from the Earth? The distance from the Earth to the Sun is not constant. It varies throughout the year as the Earth moves in its orbit. The average distance is about 149 million kilometers, which is equivalent to 93 million miles. This distance is so vast that it's impossible to travel it by any means, even at the speed of light, which is approximately 300,000 kilometers per second. It would still take over four minutes for the signal to reach the Sun. 7. What are the other stars in our galaxy? Our galaxy, the Milky Way, contains hundreds of billions of stars. Most of them are located in a flat, disk-like structure, and the Sun is just one of those stars. The nearest star to the Sun is Proxima Centauri, which is located about 4.2 light-years away. This means that it takes light over four years to travel from the star to the Earth. Other notable stars in our galaxy include Alpha Centauri, which is a binary star system and home to the first planet discovered outside of our solar system. And then there's Sirius, which is the brightest star in the night sky and is located about 8.6 light years away from the sun. There are also stars that are variable in brightness, such as the Crab Nebula, which is the remnant of a supernova explosion and is one of the brightest sources of X-rays in the sky. 8. What are the other galaxies in the universe? The universe is vast and contains billions of galaxies. The nearest major galaxy to the Milky Way is the Andromeda Galaxy, which is located about 2.5 million light years away. This galaxy is similar in size and shape to the Milky Way and is actually the only galaxy that other well-known galaxies include the Triangulum Galaxy, which is smaller than Andromeda and is located between the Milky Way and Andromeda. And then there's the Large Magellanic Cloud and the Small Magellanic Cloud which are two satellite galaxies of the Milky Way located in the Southern Hemisphere. These galaxies are irregular in shape and are home to some of the most star-forming regions in the local supercluster. There are also many other irregular galaxies in the universe, such as the Sombrero Galaxy and the Black Eye Galaxy, which are named for their unique visual features. And then there are the giant radio galaxies, such as the 3C200 which are galaxies that have huge radio-emitting lobes that extend thousands of light-years from the nucleus. These galaxies are thought to be the result of interactions between galaxies or with the intergalactic medium. It's important to note that this is just a tiny sampling of the galaxies that are out there. With new discoveries being made all the time, the universe is truly vast and full of wonders.